Hello again, Matt Snap here at Culinary Dropout. I'm going to give you an impromptu lesson about scotch, scotch, and scotch. No, cut. Today we're going to learn a little bit about scotch and bourbon from Eric Carvignini, who is an ambassador for Jim Beam here in Arizona. Eric, what is the difference between bourbon and scotch? Uh, well, the difference between bourbon and scotch, scotch for the most part came around early in the 15, 1400s, whereas when European settlers came over to America and brought their talents of uh, distilling purposes, came over around the 1700s and used those, but they didn't have the same um, ingredients. So we like to say that scotch is a peated malt, um, sometimes driving up a single malt, or it could be a blended uh, together. Uh, bourbons, on the other hand, because corn is vast and abundant in uh, America, we use the uh, resources that we have, and uh, we made bourbon. So, so these, are, these are full of corn, and this is full of peat. <laughs> We're full of malt. Oh, malt, yes. not peat. <laughs> Way off. Thank you. All right. Well, if we were going to taste these, do I start right here or do I jump in over there? I like to jump in the bourbon first. Let's jump over there first. So what 46 is, is uh, Maker's Mark, age to Maker's Mark, um, which is about five and three quarters a year to about seven years. And then we uh, put 10 French seared oak staves inside of the barrel. Does that make it taste even better? Let's, Let's taste it. Right. I want to taste that stave. Bourbons tend to uh, smell like vanilla. Um, you're going to get some get maple. That? maple. Okay. You're going to get oak for sure okay. on, the, on the tongue. Um, Everyone knows it's a little bit different out of anything. I'm gonna taste with. I think I think you should. It's sort of a professional courtesy for you to drink with me while we drink these. Damn it, that's fine. That is great. <laughs> that's uh, some good stuff there.